Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, you remember a few days ago we did a little work on my dishwasher because the dishwasher kept kind of falling out of the wall every time I opened up the door. Well, when I finished up the project, you'll also recall that there was a little plate that goes on the bottom of the dishwasher and I elected to leave that plate off until I ran a cycle through the dishwasher just to make sure there weren't any problems. I'd messed around under there a little bit and I wanted to make sure that we hadn't created any leaks. Well, that was a good decision. I ran a cycle that night and when I got up the next morning, there was indeed a puddle of water under there. It wasn't bad, but it was something I wanted to deal with. So um, I elected a couple days ago, you'll recall that I've been kind of working a maintenance cycle at work for the last 10 days or so. And you'll recall that those were part days. I wasn't working full 12 hour days. So uh, one of the days when I got home from work in the early afternoon, I decided to pull the dishwasher back out again, put it up on blocks, hook it up completely and run a cycle with it so I could try and see where the water was leaking. And it had nothing to do with where I'd been working. The only, the only place I'd actually been under the dishwasher where I'd done anything was where the water supply hose goes into the dishwasher itself. And that isn't what was leaking. It was leaking from another place. So I don't know exactly how long this leak has existed. It might have been something to happen when we pulled it out, but it might have been going on for a while. But whatever the case is, I want to look at it today and try and figure out what we can do to fix that. All right, so I got the dishwasher out. And actually what I've done is I've laid it down on its side a little bit so we can actually see the bottom of it. This is the water main line that goes into the thing. And this is the only place that I messed with anything. Yeah, because I did try and uh, disconnect this valve a little bit, but it was just too tight and I couldn't do it. So I elected to do it from the other end. But the water is actually leaking from over here. Now, in order to understand what's going on here, we need to understand a little bit how dishwashers work. Uh, these things are actually very, very simple. They're a little bit more complicated today because they have computers in them. But basically all it is, is it's a water pump that pumps water, either, that either pumps water back into the, into the dishwasher chamber or pumps it into the drain here, which goes into the sewer line. And it's just, there's just a valve that switches back and forth and the pump either pumps it into the system or pumps it back into the dishwasher or pumps it out of the, out of the uh, dishwasher and into the sewer. Now, uh, since the water needs to be really, really hot, there's a heating element inside the, inside the dishwasher. If you've ever looked at the underside of your dishwasher and there's like a, a circular piece of metal in there, that's the heating element. And these are the power cords right here that go to the two ends of the heating element. So when you get the water in there, even if you have hot water plugged into, you know, plumbing into your dishwasher, it's still not hot enough coming out of the water heater to actually sanitize the dishes. So they use, they use the heating element inside the dishwasher to heat the water up to the point where it actually not only cleans, but sanitizes what's going on in there. And these are the power cords that go to that and the water is leaking from here. Uh, what I did, like I said, I pulled the dishwasher out, put the thing on blocks so I could get underneath it and see what was happening. And it was clear that water was coming out of here. So I got to look at this piece here, take this apart and see if I can figure out how to reseal that. Now, like I said, this has clearly maybe been something that's been going on for a while because this is a part of the, uh, of underneath the dishwasher where the dishwasher goes that's directly above where that so obviously there has been some leakage here in the past and it looks like i've just discovered a problem that's been there for a while and maybe i made it a little bit worse when i was under there but this is something i probably needed to deal with at some point anyway additionally i want to do something about this electrical wire because this is you know i don't know it's almost like it's not how it should be done right so yeah, they just got the wire coming out of the, out of the wall. You know, it's obvious that this place was never really designed with dishwashers in mind. And what they've done is they've kind of, uh, you know, done it half-assed to get it, get everything working again. Cause they just got a wire coming out of the wall and connecting to the dishwasher with a couple of wire nuts. And they even got this nice ground line here that isn't even connected to anything. So I think while I'm under here, while I got this thing, you know, got easy access to all this, I want to not only try and see if I can figure out how to correct this problem, but maybe we're going to clean this up a little bit too. All right, so for simplicity's sake, I elected to just disconnect the whole thing from the kitchen and move it out into the garage. So I disconnected the electricity. 
Um, disconnected all that. It's out in the garage and I got it laying on its back right now because I kind of need to be able to get inside and outside. This is that heating element thing I told you about. And it's clear that this has been a problem that's been going on for a while because this is where the leak is. And look at that. That's all corroded out. That shouldn't look like that. You look at this upper one here. And, you know, that looks nice and clean. There's no moisture there. But we clearly have a leak here. So I'm going to have to see if I can uh, get that piece off. And if I can't, you know, I'm going to have to remove it somehow and, uh, and uh, replace that part. Uh, so if I can figure out, it looks like this thing just screws on. So I'm going to get in there with like a box wrench and try and disconnect both of them. And hopefully I can pull the heating element out. And then if I can get this piece off here, then we could put it back in, you know, maybe get a replacement one. You know, I don't know if I'll have to order that from Frigidaire, if I can find something like that at Home, Home Depot. Uh, but uh, if I can pull the heating element out, then we can get this piece off, I think. And uh, if I can do that, maybe I can replace that. Maybe I can fix this. I don't know. We're going to have to see. But first thing we're going to do is get this piece off. All right, the heating element actually came out of this thing a lot easier than I thought it would. Uh, it's only held in there by these two things, and these just kind of screw into place. Now, I'm not sure if I can just replace the this little piece here. I think the problem is that the O-ring here, which is supposed to make a seal between the bottom of the uh, of the heating element and the inside of the dishwasher, I think it's just not making good seal, and it might be damaged, and maybe I'm going to have to replace this whole thing. Um, but that doesn't seem like that should be a terribly difficult thing to replace. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this thing all back together, uh, you know, with, with it outside of the dishwasher. I'm going to bring it over to Home Depot and see what they recommend. Uh, first thing I got to do, though, is get an exact model of this thing so they can tell me if they can just sell me another heating element or at least give me an idea where I need to order the thing. This might just be one of those things I have to order from Frigidaire. And if that's the case, you know what? It doesn't, it was really easy to put in or it was really easy to take out. And so it won't be much more difficult to put back in. And maybe that's going to be a better idea, better option for me than having this uh, corroded piece of, uh, of uh, contact anyway. So let's run over to Home Depot. All right, so I'm back from Home Depot, and I kind of figured it was not a high degree of likelihood that I was going to be able to find something obscure like a specific heating element from a specific dishwasher. And I walked in there, and you know, and they basically said the same thing that that's probably not going to be something there that we're going to be able to do. But I did go look on the Frigidaire website, and I found a replacement piece that I can get for 80 bucks. So I might do that. But for now, I think I'm going to try and uh, see if I can fix this one and make this work. Because if I can get just a good seal between this and the, uh, and, the, and the floor of the dishwasher so that it doesn't leak, then, you know, maybe we're going to be okay. So I'm going to try that. And if not, we'll, uh, we'll order the thing and have to install it in a few days when the part comes from, from Frigidaire. But like I said, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. What I did do, however, is I bought a little bit of electrical wire and a couple of electrical plugs, and I want to do something a little bit more professional than just hard wiring it into a wire hanging out of the wall. I actually want to just put this plug on the end of the wire I have hanging out of the wall. That still isn't the best way to do it. I'd prefer have an electrical outlet there, but that's more work than it's worth, and I think I can attach that, and then we'll just... Uh, uh, attach this to the dishwasher and then we can just literally plug it and unplug it as I need to. That'll make it easier if I ever have to do future repairs. And I kind of looked at the uh, the rating of the dishwasher. The, rate, the dishwasher only runs about 10 amps. So this plug is rated for 20 amps. The wire is rated for 20 amps. So uh, we this should be more than enough. Uh, it should be overkill for what we're doing. So that should simplify and make this a little bit neater. And I can also put a little extra cable on the end of this thing. So in the future, if I have to, I can just pull the dishwasher out and have it in the middle of the floor and have it run out there if I ever need to do future repairs. So kind of thinking ahead and over planning like I usually do. So I'm going to try putting this heating element back in and see if I can make it a uh, 
you know, watertight. I think what we'll do is we'll leave it out in the garage tonight. Uh, we'll fill the uh, bottom of the reservoir up with water and we'll see if it drips. And if it doesn't, then, you know, maybe I'll seal it up a little uh, silicon uh, uh, sealer and uh, that'll just further enforce what's going on. But I'm going to try putting this back together and let's see what happens. Now one of the things you did, I did want to do is I wanted to clean that up. You remember that piece was all rusty. So I got in there with a little sandpaper and a little wire brush and that should make better contact now. So uh, that is something that's uh, better now than it was before. All right, so I've cleaned up the electrical a little bit, uh, put a proper wire on it and actually tied the ground in too. One of the things that bugged me about this thing is that there was a nice ground wire coming out of the wall but it didn't connect to the dishwasher in any way. So um, I just ran this extra line right here, tied it into the frame right here. This seems to be where they're grounding other things, so it made sense to tie that all together. So now we got a nice uh, three-prong outlet going to the dishwasher. I gotta reconnect everything on the other end, and then I can plug and unplug this thing as I need to, uh, if I need to ever move it around again. So I've reconnected the uh, fittings for the, for the heating element inside. What I'm gonna have to do is flip this thing up on its uh, top now and uh, fill the thing with water, and let's see if we have any leaks still. Yeah, just as I thought, that gasket just isn't holding well, so. Um, we're gonna just replace the replace the heating element. I think that's my only option at this point It was worth a try, but it didn't work. So uh, I'm gonna go order one and we're gonna have to put this project off for a couple of days and We'll catch up with it uh, when the new part comes. Hopefully uh, we can get it here rushed here in a day or so otherwise uh, we'll revisit this one uh, someday in the future uh, I have managed to like I said connect up uh, do a better job with the electricity. We're going to be able to plug that in. I am going to go connect the outlet uh, in the in the kitchen to the other end there so we can plug it in and make the thing work. But like I said, this is a leak and I can't seem to fix this because uh, this thing is just all corroded. So new heating element and we'll pick this up later. All right, so I got the plug put on the wire here. Like I said, this is ugly. I would much prefer to put an outlet back there. But that isn't always feasible to do, and uh, that would probably be a little bit more complicated. So I've just elected to do this, and now, you know, in the future, you know, I can plug and unplug this thing as I need to. Let's just make sure it works. I've got this nice little, uh, nice little cable uh, outlet tester here. Basically what happens, when I plug it in, if the two yellow lights come on, it's wired correctly. Anything else is a problem. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, okay. So that's good. Now when we get to get the heating element replaced in the dishwasher, uh, we can come in here, just plug it back in, and we'll be good to go. So um, I'll catch up with you in a couple days when the heating element goes on. In the meantime, I think I'm going to clean this mess up a little bit in here and uh, try and get some of the some of the dirt and gunk out of here because this is, you know, a lot of times uh, in areas under... Uh, under dishwashers and in the back behind cabinets and stuff like that you know they don't really do a good job cleaning up and so you know while i got this open might as well try and make it look a little nicer in here so i'll catch up with you in a couple days all right so i ordered the replacement part for this online i actually went to the frigidaire website and was able to find the exact part uh you know i knew what the model of the dishwasher was and from there I was able to kind of uh, work my way down and find the uh, find the part. So I've got that ordered. Um, it's supposed to, since today is Sunday, uh, the order won't actually be placed until tomorrow on Monday. And I'm supposed to have the part overnighted here and it should be here on Tuesday. So we're gonna pick up with that on Tuesday. We're gonna leave this uh, in here in the garage for the next couple of days. Car can live out in the yard for a couple of days. That's not gonna be the end of the world. So we'll pick this up again on Tuesday and we'll reinstall that uh, heating element and then we can get this thing reinstalled. So anyway, I think that is all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.